Toyota is refusing to take success for granted and has unveiled the next generation of the Camry at the Detroit Motor Show that sets new standards in the medium car category. And the feedback we immediately got from the Australian media who attended Detroit was extremely positive. It was the, the attitude of no more cardigans for Toyota. Let's, they've shred the cardigan image, now it's getting on. Designing, building and selling exciting cars for mass market. Designers have rethought every aspect of the Camry, from its chassis to its body, interior, accessories and drivetrain. The result is a world-class sedan that redefines global standards for comfort, performance and intelligent design. When we finally got to uh, show potential customers our new Camry, um, we initially showed them the car without badges on it. We actually showed them the car and asked them the question, what sort of car did they think this was? And most of them felt it was a premium Japanese car or in fact a European car. The wheels have been pushed to the corners of the vehicle to give it a very solid prestige look. The new car has a very purposeful athletic stance. With the extended wheelbase and the wider track, again, the car looks as though it's hunkered down. It's a lot closer to the road and feels a lot more of a driver's car. Incorporating equipment features and flow-down technology from Lexus, Toyota has extensively redesigned the new Camry's interior, pushing the front windshield forward and increasing legroom, which create a roomy, upmarket and relaxing environment for driver and passengers. From a quality point of view, uh, we are measured independently by a Toyota and we have got the same quality levels as the, our Japan plant. We're very pleased and proud about that. The Australian design and production team were involved from the very early stage in the development of the new Camry. The Altona plant in Victoria underwent a major upgrade to increase automation and streamline the manufacturing processes. Very, very early we were involved to make sure that the final product, as well as being a global Camry, still has the features and has the requirements for the Australian and Middle East customers. The new Camry was tested extensively in some of the harshest conditions in Australia. It's been tested from a very, very early stage, which we call the advanced proto stage, which is in concept stage. During the product development stage, yes, the vehicles went very, very well. We had very, very few major problems. Uh, I would even say none, no major problems. Following this exhaustive testing process, the Camry was tuned for Australian conditions. This included longer throw headlamps, adjustments to steering, suspension, seating and of course dust sealing. In actual fact, for the last 12 years, Camry has actually been number one in its segment. There's three of the biggest bases are actually in Japan, the US and Australia. And out of those three bases, Toyota in Australia, or I should say Camry in Australia, is the second biggest production base globally. What you'll find is, is really the styling of this vehicle and shrugging off any cardigan image that may actually exist will certainly lift the sales of this new model for us. Camry is a global success story. It has been the quality benchmark in the US market for some time, and the new model takes this refinement and innovation to a new level. The 2006 Camry redefines global standards for comfort, safety, and intelligent design, and its contemporary style is likely to bolster both driver appeal and resale value. I love presenting resale value to fleet customers because with Camry, you're putting your dollars in the bank. It's an investment. Quality, durability, and, and reliability is second to none. And that's why it's been the number one vehicle in the medium four-cylinder market for many, many years. The other benefit with Camry is that it's a very uniquely styled, locally manufactured vehicle that will capture more private market share. The big advantage with this new model is that we get even better fuel efficiency, we get an uplift in power, ABS as standard on all of the grades. And that's something that's really exciting for fleet. This new Camry covers all the bases and will continue to deliver optimum whole of life cost improved management for all fleet buyers.
The new Camry story starts with the Altice model. Its sleek styling and low-slung looks are matched by the perfect balance of performance and efficiency delivered by the VVTi engine. The Ativa has the sophistication of the Altice with the added benefit of 16-inch alloy wheels, leather trim steering wheel, gear selector and handbrake, power seats and dual-zone climate control to create the perfect environment for every occupant. The top-of-the-range Grande takes specification levels for this category to a new high with vehicle stability control, Bluetooth-enabled satellite navigation, leather seats, rain-sensing wipers and sunroof, all standard. Sport styling is also covered off from the Camry range with the Sportivo, delivering a more muscular look and athletic stance with mesh grille and sport suspension adding to the package. I think sophisticated would be the word that most aptly describes this vehicle. Stylish lines embodying the traditional values of Camry. At Toyota we're excited because we realise that this fuel-shocked society at the moment is looking for a hero, a car that can deliver you some style and keep your bottom line under management. And that's a key issue in fleet. Well, I'm proud to say that the Australian Camry is the best built Camry in the world, and we hope it will continue to be that way. If you're looking for a vehicle to reduce your downtime, to guarantee that your fleet representatives and workers are on the road, Camry is the one. Mm -hmm.